Hey, what's up? It's Justin from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to list the top 10 best highest rated Chinese historical dramas of 2022. The dramas on this list are based on ratings of a Chinese review site, Doban. Doban is a Chinese version of IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. What makes Doban different is that it also covers books and music ratings. I'm going to include dramas with at least 70,000 ratings on this list and I'll leave links to where to watch the dramas on the list with English subs in the description down below. Let me know in the comments section down below which drama on the list was your favourite drama this year 2022. I'm going to also make a video of the top 10 best highest rated Chinese modern dramas of 2022. So if you want to get notified when I upload it, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 10. The Blue Whisper, starring Dil Raba and Alan Wren. The Blue Whisper is a 42 episode drama that tells the story of a human with the ability to control demons. One day she gets ordered by the princess to tame a beautiful merman prince. She has to make the merman do three things, speak the human language, grow a pair of legs and be loyal to the princess. One day she finds herself in a difficult position as she has to make a choice. Her freedom or the merman's freedom. This drama was directed by the same director who directed Ashes of Love. The Blue Whisper's sets, props, scenery and people are simply eye-catching, which keeps one visually interested all the way through. The Blue Whisper has a vibrant and bold colour palette with exemplary cinematography and outfit which makes it refreshing to see compared to other costume dramas. The drama also has beautifully done and well-rendered CGI and special effects. The Blue Whisper has a 5.7 rating out of around 197,000 ratings. Number 9. Who Rules the World? Starring Yang Yang and Zhao Lucy. Who Rules the World is a 40-episode drama that tells a legendary decade-long romance between Hei Fengqi and Bai Fengqi and the adventures they embark on together. Yang Yang plays Hai Fengqi, a handsome and elegant man, and Zhao Lucy plays Bai Fengxi, an elegant girl. The drama tells their love story that blossomed in blood after a decade of struggle in the martial arts world. Who Rules the World was directed by Yin Tao, who also directed Love and Redemption and Ancient Love Poetry. The drama has abundant background characters, intertwined stories and rich world building that surround the main romance story with its gripping chemistry between the leads, which will surely keep your attention high throughout watching it. Who Rules the World has a 5.8 rating out of around 123,000 ratings. Number 8. Immortal Samsara starring Yang Zi and Cheng Yi Immortal Samsara is a 59 episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name. Yang Zi plays the descendant of the Four Leaf Lotus who became a medicine wonder in ancient times. She and her twin sister later cultivate into a human form and she encounters a love trial. She falls in love with Lord Ying Yuan, played by Cheng Yi, but she has to spend the next 800 years forgetting him. Immortal Samsara has all the elements of a Shenxia drama, a cold male lead who takes ages to finally realize he has feelings for the female lead, forbidden love, misunderstandings and reincarnation. Compared to Love Between Fairy and Devil, which is also on the list, Immortal Samsara has an average storyline and a draggy mortal world, which felt like it was going nowhere. But the drama has good visuals, special effects, OST, and the costumes are gorgeous. Immortal Samsara has a 5.9 rating out of around 513,000 ratings. Number 7. My Sassy Princess, starring Crystal Yuan and Zheng Yi Cheng. My Sassy Princess is a 22 episode drama that tells the story of a domineering princess who meets a cold and skilled martial artist, and together they embark on a journey. 
If you're into light-hearted dramas, add this drama to your watch list. My Sassy Princess has a 6.8 rating out of around 71,000 ratings. Number 6. New Life Begins, starring Bai Jingting and Tian Shiwei. New Life Begins is a 40-episode drama that follows the story of Bai Jingting's character, a sickly and secretly ambitious sixth prince, and Tian Shiwei's character Li Wei, who is among many women sent to Xinchuan as a tribute and must go through a selection process to marry a prince. However, Li Wei, who comes from a region where marriage is monogamous and men and women are equal, wants nothing more than to fail and be sent home. New Life Begins has a 7.2 rating out of around 159,000 ratings. Number 5. Love Like the Galaxy, starring Leo Wu and Zhao Lucy. Love Like the Galaxy is a 56 episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name. Zhao Lucy plays Cheng Xiao Shang, a young lady who's grown into a willful and headstrong woman after being left to fend for herself whilst her family goes off to war. Raised by her relatives, Xiao Shang finally reaches marriageable age, but her rather unconventional upbringing poses quite a challenge in marrying her off. Amongst her three potential matches, there's Ling Buyi, the emperor's adopted son who's her love interest played by Liu Wu. And the other two potential matches are Yuan Shen, a talented scholar, and Lo Yao, the aristocratic son of a noble house. After spending some time together, Ling Buyi and Cheng Xiao Shang fall in love, but she finds herself involved in a mystery surrounding his family and his identity. The two later work together, upholding the righteousness in their hearts as they resolve a national crisis. This drama's cinematography is awesome, and so are the costumes. The colour grading in scenes like during the Lantern Festival and the after effects of the battle with the bandits leave a lasting impression on the viewers. Leo Wu and Zhao Lucy have amazing chemistry in this drama, and I also want to give props to the cast for using their own voice. This drama also reunites Leo Wu and Zhao Lucy as they both starred in the 2021 drama The Long Ballad. Love Like the Galaxy has a 7.7 .7 rating out of around 491,000 ratings. Number 4. Strange Legend of Tang Dynasty, starring Yang Shu Wen and Yang Zi Gang. Strange Legend of Tang Dynasty is a 36-episode drama that tells the story of a dark, evil immortal who descends from the heavens and the mysterious underground ghost palace gets revealed. When the ghost palace got revealed, a strange herb named the Black Tea suddenly took Chang'an City by storm, and cases of missing brides in Chang'an City began occurring one after the other which seems to be inextricably linked to the Black Tea. A general of the Jin Wu Guard later gets tasked to investigate the case, and on his journey he meets his opponent, Su Wu Ming, and they work together to solve the mysterious cases. Strange Legend of Tang Dynasty is this year's surprise hit drama for a reason, and it's a must for wuxia mystery thriller drama lovers, with a bit of a supernatural wuxia fantasy elements added to it. The drama also has good production quality, cinematography, and good acting from the cast. Strange Legend of Tang Dynasty has a 7.9 rating out of around 172,000 ratings. Number 3. Love Between Fairy and Devil, starring Esther Yu and Dylan Wang. Love Between Fairy and Devil is a 36 episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name. Esther Yu plays Xiao Luanhua, the Little Orchard, a powerful immortal whose tribe gets annihilated by the Demon Lord. She gets reborn 10,000 years later as a low-ranking immortal of the Heavenly Tribe. Unknowingly, Xiao Luanhua revives the Demon Lord, her mortal enemy, played by Dylan Wang, who decides to sacrifice her immortal soul to unleash the curse placed on his body when he gets revived. But in the process, the heartless demon falls for the gentle and adorable young fairy. Love Between Fairy and Devil has all the elements of Shansha dramas. 
a cold male lead falling in love with a warm and bubbly female lead, forbidden love and reincarnation. What sets this drama apart from other Shanxia dramas is its beautiful visuals, cinematography, gorgeous world building, amazing chemistry and acting from the cast. Love Between Fairy and Devil has a 7.9 rating out of around 593,000 ratings. Number 2 A Dream of Splendor starring Liu Yifei and Chen Xiao A Dream of Splendor is a 40-episode drama that tells the story of Zhao Paner, the owner of a small tea shop in Hangzhou who was abandoned by her husband. Feeling wronged, she travels to the capital city to seek justice for herself and she helps Song Ying Zhang and Sun Sanyang escape their abusive marriages along the way and the three become good friends who turn a small tea shop into the largest restaurant in the city. Zhao Panna also meets Gu Qian Fan, a military commander who she later falls in love with. This drama marks Liu Yifei's big return to the small screen after 15 years of making movies. Her last drama was the 2006 drama Return of the Condor Heroes with Huang Xiaoming. This drama was directed by Yang Yang who also directed one of my favourite dramas ever night. A Dream of Splendour has a gorgeous intimate camera angle that enhances the thrill of the drama's budding romance and Liu Yifei and Chen Xiao have amazing chemistry. A Dream of Splendour has an 8.1 rating out of around 798,000 ratings. Number 1 The Wind Blows from Longxi starring Chen Kun and Bai Yu The Wind Blows from Longxi is a 24-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name by author Ma Bo Yong who also wrote The Longest Day in Chang'an and Luo Yang. The Wind Blows from Longxi was set during the Three Kingdoms period when the Shu Kingdom has defeated the Wei Kingdom using powerful crossbows. To attain these powerful weapons, the Wei Kingdom sends spies to infiltrate the Shu Kingdom. Chen Kun plays Chen Gong, a spy hiding in the Wei Kingdom. When the Shu Kingdom receives false reports from Chen Gong, they send Shun Xu, another spy played by Bai Yu to investigate him. This drama was directed by Liu Yang who also directed the movie Brotherhood of Blades 2. This drama has immersive storytelling, a suspenseful plot, stellar acting from the cast and the unconventional camera work was immensely enjoyable. The Wind Blows from Longxi has an 8.1 rating out of around 94,000 ratings. If you'd like to support me by contributing a dollar or more, check out my Ko-Fi page by clicking the link in the description down below. Let me know in the comments section down below which of these historical dramas is your favourite historical drama of 2022. I'll also leave links to where to watch the dramas on the list with English subs in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload a video of the top 10 highest rated Chinese modern dramas of 2022. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on the screen right now. That's all I have time for you today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on the next video.